High Tide on Broadway. It's The Late Show with David Letterman. Tonight, Michael J. Fox, singer Anita Baker, and five-year-old chef Justin Miller. Plus, Paul Schaefer and the CBS Orchestra. And now, a man who hopes someone will pinch him, David Letterman. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the program. My name is Dave. I'm filling in tonight for the vacationing Ed Sullivan. <laughs> you know what? I want to say something with a, a little bit of pride here. New York City, a lot of times people say bad things about New York City. They represent the city sometimes in, in the most negative light possible. I just want to say something nice about New York City. I think the local economy here in New York City, especially in Manhattan, is now thriving, probably doing better than it has in the last 15 years. Now, I'll tell you how I judge this. Whenever you see new businesses, that's a sign that the dollars are flowing, that there is new blood, that people are out there opening new shops, and it helps the overall commerce. I'm walking through Times Square today. I saw a business that I had not seen before, and I said to myself, well, there you go. Uh, commerce is flourishing, and I think it's going to do pretty well. It's one-hour nude photos, and I said, man, oh, if that, that, if that doesn't, if that doesn't <laughs> take off. Natural. <laughs> man, whoa, was that quite a trip to get to that little... Speaking of the economy, ladies and gentlemen, I uh, heard that the Japanese government has donated $1.5 million to the George Bush Presidential Library. $1.5 million, and I'm thinking, one point, that's like, what, 15, 16 yen? <laughs> I have no idea. Ladies and gentlemen, turning our attention now to the world of romance, I understand, my inside sources tell me, and I think maybe it's true, that uh, leggy supermodel Kate Moss and uh, Johnny Depp, is Johnny Depp the guy who always busts up hotel that's, rooms? Yeah, I think yeah. that's the guy. <laughs> leggy supermodel and Johnny Depp huh? may be getting married. That's right, I knew you'd be excited. Oh, and, yeah. And... <laughs> Friends say they're out this very minute shopping for an engagement band that will fit around her waist. Uh, so we keep our fingers crossed for that. You know, here's something frightening. According to a recent uh, New York Times poll, only 10% of the people involved in the poll knew that Rwanda was a country. Listen to how this breaks down. 10% of the people knew that it was a country. 15% of the people in the poll thought that it was a language. 75% of the people in the poll thought Rwanda was a character on the Jeffersons. <laughs> That's, isn't that surprising? Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Cover me, Paul, we're gonna have to blast our way out of here again. Ladies and gentlemen, like I need to tell you, today, all across America, I think this is a lovely little tradition, is take your daughter to work day. You've heard, you've heard of that, right? Yeah. Whereby you take your, your daughter to work and you show her what it is you do at your job. It's a tradition, I believe, that was started uh, five years ago by Senator Ted Kennedy. Uh, <laughs> right after he was seen leaving his office with a 19-year-old, and he said, well, hey, Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know how many trials of the century we've had in this century. 
Every two or three years, it seems like we got us a trial of the century, and uh, that's what they're calling the O.J. Simpson trial. You know, uh, it, but it doesn't, does are you like me? Does that situation just keep getting stranger and stranger? Now, uh, today, here's what I understand. There is a, a defense attorney for O.J. Simpson named uh, Peter Neufeld, and he's apparently from New York, from more specifically Brooklyn. So in the middle of his testimony, Judge uh, Ito, what's he calling himself? Lance? Yeah, yeah. he calls himself Lance. <laughs> Judge Ito says to this Peter Neufeld, he says, listen, listen, I'm going to interrupt things right here. Your Brooklyn accent and the fact that you're talking too quickly, we can't understand a word you're saying. That's what he says to the guy. And so today, Peter Newfield, you know, he's got his back up a little bit. He's kind of hot about this. He says, well, first of all, I'm proud of the fact that I'm from New York City. I'm proud of the fact that I have a Brooklyn accent. And then he threatened to whack Ito and dump him in the East River. Oh, wow. That's right. Here's a little tip from uh, Gentleman's Quarterly. Here's how you allocate the tie. The guy with the goatee gets the tie. That's how that works. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> right there. That's him exactly. Uh. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a, a wonderful program for you. Michael J. Fox is here tonight. Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox. Hi. From... Uh, Pennsylvania, a young man who was supposed to be with us last night, five-year-old cook. He actually uh, cooks things. He's five years old. His name is Justin Miller, a delightful youngster. He'll be with us this evening. And Anita Baker is on the program. And your CBS Orchestra. Oh. I want to tell you something, Paul. Have you enjoyed the spring here in New York oh, City? Man, oh, what a day today. Today, today and yesterday, lovely. It's like a mid-70s. Uh. Clear skies, an occasional big white puffy cloud. Springtime, you know, it's a time of uh, rebirth, a time of new beginnings, a time of uh, anticipation. And I was thinking because of that, you know what we should do? Uh to coincide with this lovely spring that we're experiencing right now, we should show the folks all across the country brand new ideas that we've been working on to make this show, yes, if it's possible, even more entertaining. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're going to do here tonight, show you what's new on The Late Show for the Spring. Here we go, Paul. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> howdy. Hi and howdy to you. <laughs> That's what I just said. Thank you very okay. much. Howdy. Yeah. You know, ladies and gentlemen, nothing says spring to me like cheap gimmicks and phony applause. That's why this season we're proud to announce that from time to time we're going to be filling the lovely Ed Sullivan Theater with tons and tons of fake cherry blossoms. Here we go. You know, it's no secret, giant rats in the Ed Sullivan Theater, frankly, it's old news. But, now listen to this, this spring, we don't just have giant rats, we've got giant flying rats. Bring it in, boys. Look at this beauty right there. How you doing? Look at that. Get out of here. Just, just, just get out of here. There's just... It's a flying rat. Oh, it's it's a giant flying rat. They've done work on that at UC Davis out in California. Yeah. That's where they did the research on that boy. That's a beauty, too, isn't it? That's about a 40-pounder. Look, it's now hovering. I believe Sigorsky also did some work. Sigorsky up there. Yeah, really? Yeah, up in Connecticut. Yeah, it's uh -huh. exactly right. 
You know, uh, we know that discerning viewers crave hard to come by behind the scenes information. So beginning this very night right here, we're going to show you folks the painstakingly precise ritual that goes into the making of my coffee each and every night. Here we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> spring puts me in a generous mood, so I've decided that every night during the spring we'll be holding a drawing to see which lucky audience member gets to go home early. Okay, give it a good twirl a there. Mix that up. Okay, there we go. And open it right up. Oh, and the lucky audience member. You lucky. All right. <laughs> okay, the lucky audience member, seat 82, Jeff Wilson. Jeff? Remember what I said about spring being a time of new birth, new, new beginning? Birth. Yeah, new Anticipation, beginning. excitement? Yeah. Well, it just don't seem to be working that way tonight, does it? <laughs> it was a nice It was a nice idea. one. Nice okay. idea. Thank you, Howdy. Howdy. You know, ladies and gentlemen, from now on, whenever a joke doesn't work, oh, God, do we have a long way to go. Is that, is that where we are now? Oh, man. <laughs> it's what? But it is the last one. Okay, great. You know, ladies and gentlemen, from now on, whenever a joke doesn't work or we have several awkward moments of silence. Is this one? Yeah, that's one right there. <laughs> one of about a thousand we've had in the first 11 minutes of tonight's production. Whenever that... 1,001. <laughs> Okay, whenever there's another one of those awkward silences, all I have to do is say the word, clowns! Places of, how the places of pigsty. They're completely unimpressed by a flying rat. Yeah. <laughs> but like eight guy, eight high school guys in outfits. <laughs> well, there it is. Look at that. Huh? Has like a three-hour hovering capability. Yeah. I'm, I'm telling you, the Pentagon is dying to get their hands on this thing. Uh, we have to do a uh, commercial, ladies and gentlemen, and then we're off the air. No, no. Then we'll be back with Michael J. Fox. You've got a date with destiny. Guaranteed to bring you Johnny Destiny. You can call me Johnny. He's a nut. He's a wild man. He's completely unpredictable. Experience his power. You looking for this? Witness his magic. I'm ready for him. And meet the man who will blow you out of the water. Surf set. Destiny turns on the radio. It's a town of limitless possibilities. Rated R. Starts Friday at theaters everywhere. The most important thing I put on is soft and dry solid. For powerful protection against odor and wetness and a time release formula that lasts and lasts and lasts. Soft and dry. Fries and a drink, please. 
Order from some value menus and you also get a surprise, not Wendy's. Our Biggie fries are big. You can't get bigger for 99 cents. And to finish a Biggie drink, you'll probably have to take it with you. Wendy's Super Value Menu. Better food makes it a better value. Now, dare to cross forbidden boundaries to the ultimate adventure. Come on! It's more than a ride. It's real. Now your fears have a name. The Indiana Jones Adventure. New at Disneyland. $36 obsession purchase at Liberty House. There's lots of excitement going down at Wayne's Carpet. You said it. We've got a huge shipment of Mohawk brand excellence carpets. And they're all on sale. It's Wayne's Carpet's giant inventory clearance sale with incredible savings on Mohawk carpet. These beautiful carpets feature DuPont Stain Master with spill block. And Mohawk stands behind their carpet with the strongest guarantees of the business. Don't miss Wayne's Carpet's giant inventory clearance sale. I'll see you there. Here it is. Sign, seal, deliver. It's, it's yours. yours. The Mazda 25th anniversary is one big saving celebration with $2,000 cash back on MPV. MPV has a more powerful V6 than Nissan Quest and a warranty that's better than Dodge Caravan and Toyota Previa. Now you can get $2,000 cash back on a 95 MPV. Sign, seal, deliver. It's yours. At your Hawaii Mazda dealer now. Ladies and gentlemen, on the show tonight, Michael J. Fox is here. Justin Miller, delightful young man, five years old, cooks. He, tonight he's going to make individual cheesecakes. Lovely. Yes, Justin oh, Miller. Yeah. And, and, uh, oh, music great, uh, Anita Baker. What is she going to do for us tonight, oh, Paul? She's doing a lovely up tempo number of hers. And, you know, she's also five years old herself. No, she's yeah. not. Yeah. And uh, we're doing uh, things that are new for spring. And frankly, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not going to lie to you. Oh, yeah, put that like that'll help. Was that up there before? Maybe that was the problem. Have you folks seen that before? Yeah, we have. <laughs> I guess that was part of the problem. Uh, Clowns! Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> you were hoping, weren't you? Yeah, I know. You were hoping for clowns. All right. Uh, hey, we got us a flying ram! Look at that! Bring it in, boys! Yes, sir! From UC Davis and Sikorsky Aircraft. Well, it's not... Oh, that thing just just drops like a bomb, don't it? Here it comes. Oh no, it's coming down. Yeah, it is coming down. Why can't it come down more quickly? Hey, we got the bugs worked out of the flying rat yet. All right, take it out. Get out of here. Beat it. Wait for me in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and it can stay up there for like hours and hours. I won't lie to you, folks. Things aren't going too well for us tonight here on the show. We thought it'd be a great night to show you what was new for spring, didn't we, Paul? I mean, uh, didn't come into this, paper, didn't, yeah. didn't we feel like champions? Yes. Didn't we feel like heroes? It was a new beginning. Yes, exactly. It was didn't, a cleansing. That's a what? A new start, a cleansing. Yes, yes. Spring cleaning. Clowns! <laughs> we don't have it. And then we get the clowns from Ringling Brothers, Barnum and Bailey Circus, and you think, well, you really got some there. I think it's just high school kids in outfits. Well, <laughs> what are clowns, really? <laughs> Uh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, are we going to do another one? Oh, here, here's something else new for spring. It's these guys in a little spring wardrobe. Send them in. Here they go. Here we go. Come on. Come on. What are you waiting on? Now things are working pretty good, ain't they? <laughs> keep breathing. It's essential to keep breathing. I am. You can't tighten up. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you got to loosen your diaphragm loosen. and just keep and breathing. Relax. That's it. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
Man, listen how quiet it gets. I, I wish I had vacation property that was this quiet. <laughs> quiet. Wouldn't it be great? Oh, <laughs> It'd be something. But no, it just don't work that way. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, here in my right hand, I have a copy of tonight's Top Ten. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You know, you know, we haven't done it yet. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb anyone. People are fly fishing in the audience. Be very, very quiet. Don't want to disturb the trout. Yes. Uh, from the home office in Sioux City, Iowa, the category tonight: top ten things overheard on uh, Take Your Daughters to Work Day. Uh huh. That's right. I mentioned it at the beginning of the program, and I don't think it really rang a bell. No. But it's a uh, little tradition, a little program, a little day that we've set aside now. I don't know who figured this out. Somebody, it's not a bad thing where you bring... And one day, when you're a daughter, a Victoria... Uh, uh, Victoria Lily. Lily I is old enough, her. you bring her to work, and it's sure show her what Dad well, does. Yeah. When is Take Your Daughter to Work? It's is, today. Is I it believe today? it's today, yes. Oh, well, all day today. Oh. Thursday today was Take Your Daughter to Work oh. Day. Did you think about bringing your daughter to I work? I didn't know it was the today. Oh, well... It's today. Why don't you have a seat out there, then? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're, uh, we're bird watching. Shh, very, very, very quiet. Shh. Uh, top ten things overheard now on Take Your Daughters to Work Day. E Did anybody here at the staff bring their daughter to work today, by the way? <laughs> this this doesn't have a chance. This little holiday is going to die off I in know. a couple of weeks. Oh, Nobody's heard of it. Nobody participated in it. You had no idea. I you think no a man, yeah, No, you, you got a daughter. You I got a job. Her in. But you didn't. No. Two years old. Oh, uh, the whole thing makes me sick, ladies and gentlemen. Maybe I can get Frankly, it's left a foul taste in my mouth. Uh, top ten things now overheard on Take Your Daughters to Work Day. And, and here at The Late Show, it was quite a success. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Now, uh, th this is guaranteed now. Uh, top ten things overheard and take your daughter's work day. Number ten, overruled, Mr. Shapiro. Ms. Clark's daughter may conduct the cross-examination. Uh, number nine, and over there is the mud we wrestle in. Number eight, uh, who would have guessed that Richard Simmons was a, has a, had a daughter? Audience deeply offended. <laughs> deep, deep and stunned, stunned and offended. <laughs> Man, well, see, that's, that's part of your problem. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, God almighty. Uh, number seven, insert your own Woody Allen joke here. Number six, let me get this straight. Now, Chelsea's in charge. Number five, hurry up, sweetie. Just cock the hammer and fire at the bad guy. Number four. Okay, the final score is Mets Daughters 8, Mets 0. Number 3. Mm -hmm. Hi. Uh, okay. Uh, number 3, Judge Ito, your daughter has such a lovely beard. Number 2. I can't believe Letterman made all his kids put on that horrible clown makeup. Number 1. <laughs> Thing overheard on Take Your Daughter to Work Day. I don't want to go to CBS. I want to go home. There. Do we have anything else to do for spring? Did I, did I forget things to do for spring? Do we have things standing by to do for spring? What are they? What do we, what, I don't know. You tell me. I don't know. I have any idea what they're. Huh? What? Yeah, I know he's coming up, but are there other things to do for spring that I forgot? Huh? What are there? Other things? What are, well, what are they? Would you, huh? What are they? The, the what? The, oh, the lifeguard, and what else? Oh, the clowns. All right, okay, fine. No, 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 Oh, no, 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 stop it. That's just a tank. Oh, that's just a tank. Oh, God. 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 <laughs> Our first guest is one of the best-known stars of film and television. He's an old friend of ours. We've known him for a long, long time. Uh, please welcome back to the program, Michael J. Fox. <laughs> Sir? Thank 
you. Thank you. Just, Always a pleasure to have you with us. Keeps getting weirder and weirder here, Dave. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I wish I could say it wasn't my responsibility, but I guess kind of it is, isn't it? I think it's... Have you, have, you come, on the box. have you come down from your farm in Vermont, or did you come from California no, to visit uh, us today? We, we've been here. Here we've in New York here, City? Here in New York City. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations. You had twin baby girls. Nice going, buddy. My, uh, you could have brought your daughters to work today. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Well, actually, I offered. They uh, they went, no. <laughs> they went, um, actually, my wife, my wife deserves a little bit of the credit. Yeah, she, of course. She did a good job. What are the names of the kids? Well, you're going to give me grief about this, Dave, so I don't even want to... No, please, let's hear it. Their, their names are uh, Aquina. Aquina? How do you spell that? <laughs> it's a really good question. Um, A-Q-U-I. N N A H. Very good. Aquina. Yes, that's a beautiful name. Now, why yeah. would I make fun of a name like that? It's it sounds it's like your it's your job. Well, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a point, doesn't he? No, I mean, it, it sounds like. Uh, is it Irish? Maybe it's no, not. No, it's. Uh, um, it's. Uh, there's a there's a town up in uh, in Martha's Vineyard that we go to a lot in the summertime called called Gayhead. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, it's the, uh, it's the Wampanoag Indian name for Gayhead. We're uh, going to go with... You're making part of this up, aren't you? No, it's true. Gay, gayhead, Martha, so we're going to go with, with Gayhead, but... There's kids, trouble for the kid right off the kid, bat. Kids can be so cruel. What, what Indian tribe is it now? I believe it's Wampanoag, so... W I, Wampanoag? Wampanoag. Uh -huh. so Wampanoag. I think it's a, a qu a quina meaning, meaning gay, mm -hmm. and, and nuh meaning head. <laughs> Aqui meaning gay, n meaning head, right? <laughs> nah, aqui, na. Nah. Aqui, na. Nah. Aqui, nah. Well, it's a so lovely. Just, uh, does the. I got a na mm -hmm. yeah. Does she, <laughs> does she have a, a middle name? What do you put with Aquina? Uh, Aquina is Kathleen. Aquina Kathleen. Oh, my God. That's a heartbreaking name. Are you kidding me? She's, she's gonna that's be, a beautiful she's name. Gonna be a foxy lady. Yeah. 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 And so you used to play Fox on the Run, which I really didn't like as much as this. Foxy lady is your name. It's better. Because yeah. you are a foxy lady. Well, thanks. <laughs> Things are new for spring, Michael, so see, what can I tell you? Paul, Paul, Paul's Canadian, but you didn't play hockey at all, did you? No, I was no, a skier. I knew. I knew. You skied? I was, yes. You oh, you didn't ski? Up until I was 18, I was a big skier. Yeah. Oh, you were not. Prove it. Yes. Ski now. Vaidlin? Yeah, he's... What? Wait, on the down, wait on the downhills. That's the Vaidlin. That what, was... what is... No, that's nothing. That's just you hopping like around that. behind the organ. Wait there. on the downhill ski, baby. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And you were... Huh? Michael was a hockey player. Michael played yeah. hockey, that's right. Yeah. I'm just trying to pick. Do you have the little thing where you tied the tips together so they wouldn't get crushed? No, I did not. I had a real skis, actual skis. And I don't boots. think he's Canadian. Hey, I don't, so. No, he's Canadian. We know. We know. Uh, no, no, we, we didn't mention the, the name of your other little Skyler. girl. Skyler. Uh, Skyler. Uh, S-C-H. No, all right. The end of what comes after. But how is it spelled? S-C-H-U. Yeah, that's a tough one. That's a really tough one. S-C-H-U-Y-L-E-R? Wow. Is that it or not? Yeah. And is there, is that like a family name? No, it's just, Skylar just sounded good. I want to see you this. Good. Well, we, you know, it's tough with names, because Sam, you know, we named Sam, Sam. Sam is your son, son your firstborn. And we thought that was such a clever Sam's name. Sam's a nice name. And well, I don't a, think there's, there's a, anything clever about it. It's a good name. Well, at the, at the time, there weren't that many, you know, there weren't that many. It's a like, biblical name. Yeah, the grandfather kind of name. Mm -hmm. So, we, and you know, it was monosyllabic, which is good, because I told you before that kids like their whole thing is just to try to kill themselves. <laughs> for the first three years, that's all they do. You, you don't play with them, you just, you know, they're like fork, light, socket, they just know. They, they, yeah. So you want to have a monosyllabic name so you can just go, Sam. Oh, that's okay. right. Yeah, <laughs> to kind of interrupt that, that so, instinctive process. So Aquina, Aquina could be toast. It's going to be difficult. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, what a, what a horrible. It could be tough. Yeah. You know, but, but Sam would work too. What yeah. the hell does she know? Yeah, that's true. She's six months old. Sam! <laughs> Uh, we have anything new for spring, or does that come later? Huh? Does that some of this it's come high. later? Yeah. All right. Okay. We're gonna do a commercial. We'll be right back with Michael J. Fox. Yeah. Something is terribly wrong with the children of Midwich. There have been a few casualties. They control your mind. There are going to be changes. They control your thoughts. What are they going to do to us? And nothing can stop them. 
Christopher Reeve, Kirstie Alley, John Carpenter's Village of the Damned, rated R, starts Friday at theaters everywhere. Zima Gold. To soothe athlete's foot, Desinex does it. But to cure athlete's foot, Desinex does it. Only Desinex has UDA to both soothe the discomfort and kill the fungus. To soothe and cure, Desinex does it all. Participate in the impossible when you and David touch your screen and make magic happen in your home. Then venture into the spirit world. The magic of David Copperfield, Monday. The Civic Nissan is the bestest in the Wessex. Now I can afford the truck I've always wanted. Brother Boo is educated on we get the good trucks. Wow! Pro City and Waipo, not only good for chickens, get the good trucks over there too. Pacific Nissan over in my phone. Hey, Pacific Nissan is the best. Ah, that's good. It's uh, Moravian barley. Moravian what? Barley. Grows at altitude. Only Coors uses it. Malts up better. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> Rocky Mountain water, you know. Gives you that clean taste. Uh huh. And you know all this because I read the can. Oh, he can read. <laughs> read the can. <laughs> Professor of virology. No. <laughs> Unafraid, I passed the wall of skulls. Suddenly, poisonous darts came flying at me. Using my cat-like reflexes, I bobbed my way to safety. Everyone is talking about the Indiana Jones Adventure Game at Foodland. Why? Because 10 lucky shoppers will win adventure vacations for four to Disneyland with transportation on Delta Airlines and accommodations at the Disneyland Hotel. Just shop and you can enter to win today. Isn't he a dream? Morgan West. How do you do, ladies and gentlemen? Good to have you with us tonight. Michael J. Fox is right here, brand new father. So you have a, a nice uh, family. How old is Sam? Sam's uh, almost six. He's this like is, this five is perfect. 11, and, and then two uh, brand new old uh, yeah, little girls. That, that's, just, that's, that's just great. That's, that's very good, nice for us. And uh, Justin Miller. Oh, yeah, your little kid comes out and cooks. Do you let Sam cook? Uh, Sam Cook. Sam Cook. Hey, what do you got there with uh, Sam Cook? Uh, hey, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Cupid, draw back your Hey, that man's a genius, isn't he, ladies and yeah. gentlemen? <laughs> And Anita Baker. Do you let her bake her? Do you have a baker? Yeah. Anita Baker? I need, I need a baker. You need a baker. Huh? Need a baker. <laughs> wow! wow. We're, 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 we are in shock. Yeah, put this boy on its feet yet, won't we? <laughs> and, uh, and now you're taking off, you're going to... Uh, I'm going to make a movie in New Zealand. New Zealand. Have you ever been there? Great timing. My wife is just thrilled. Hey, twins! Oh, that's right. Oh, see good ya. for you. Wow, yeah. that's slick. Stop. Nice going, buddy. Well, I had this great idea, though, because, you know, the girls are identical. Uh -huh. They're hard to tell apart. They have those Maori tribesmen and stuff, and they do that, like that Harvey Keitel on the piano. Mm -hmm. You know that tattoo thing across here? All right. So I'm thinking you'll bring them and do that. Yeah, so you're kidding. You're just kidding. That, just, that's the kind of thing that's going to get you in trouble. You're going to get a lot of letters. People are going to say, what are you, nuts? What are you, goofy? What the hell's the matter with you, son? That's what they're going to say. I get those anyway. <laughs> uh, but what are you going to do in New Zealand? Where are you going to be? Uh, in a place called Wellington, uh -huh. uh, which is, I think... Every where... place in New Zealand is called Wellington, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> yeah. And they, you know who's there, who lives there, is the little girl, uh, uh, you know, the information ship on highway. You know that one? Mm. Anna Paquin, the one who won the Oh, last oh, oh, yeah, yeah. There. Yeah, Don Ho is there. Got a club there, I'm sure. Is it, uh, huh? there, is it Don Ho? What, what I think Hawaii. That's Hawaii. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. But where is Wayne Newton? He's in Vegas. Las Vegas. Las oh, Vegas, yeah. Terribly confused. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, Michael, uh, let's uh, take a second here. We have some photos of uh, various moments uh, in your career. Anything that comes to mind, just uh, cough it right out. Now, this was this was like the blockbuster show of when it was on. It was in the 70s and early 80s. This is like this looks like up with people, doesn't it? Know, you have some, have you have something nose. on your nose. I don't know. Somebody's been yeah, laying around. It's but the but the show, good. of course, was uh, the show. The show did well. Yeah, and the name of the show is Up with People. Up? No. Oh, well, what family is ties. Family, family ties. ties? That's right. And uh, here what are we looking at. There? This is my passport this is, photo. This is you, <laughs> dressed for success, yes. young executive, a guy on the go. All right. 
Here we have. Oh my God. Mr. Tough Guy. Yeah. Here we. Back to the Future. Mr. Tough Guy. Yep. Get that serious kind of. This was Back to the Future. Back to the Future. There I was... think that might have been part two. There were three of those films, right? Yeah. And made you a multi-billionaire. Because I got, I got this tooth fixed. If it was, that's all I can tell. If this was part one, there would be a little chip in that tooth. That's part two. There you go. A grown man fixated by photos of himself. Here we have, let's I, see, I what are we looking at? Oh, look at this guy. Oh, my uh, God. Yes, sir. Uh, looks, like a, looks like a roadie for Yanni. Uh, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't even know what that means. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Stop that. No, just... Stop that in here. Here, explain this one if you can. What the wow. hell? What is going on there? <laughs> wow. Here, you can have yeah. that one. Show, show that to the girls. Congratulations on the addition to the family. Have fun Thank in New you. Zealand. Nice to see you, Michael. Michael J. Fox, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back. Have you ever kept an eye on your home when you're not at home? Or gotten a phone call Hello. How was your day? on your wrist. Beautiful. You will. And the company that'll bring it to you, AT&T. Your true voice. Chew on this. The average American eats five times a day. Add it up. Counting meals and all those snacks. Mm. We eat five times a day. And we only brush our teeth twice. The good news is, chewing Trident after eating can help you fight cavities five times a day. That's right, chewing Trident can actually help you fight cavities all day long. So every time you eat, chew on this, Trident. When you call Collect, you're asking a favor. You're spending their dough. So do them a favor and make sure they pay less. Know the code. 1-800-CALL-ATT. You'll always get AT&T, and it always costs less than 1-800-COLLECT. Hi, I'm the new spokesperson for TGI Fridays. <laughs> Guess I didn't want a big celebrity. Anyway, here's the new Sicilian stuffed chicken, stuffed with garlic, cheese, and herbs. Over here is what we at Fridays call triple sticks. Oh, a steak, shrimp, and chicken on a stick. And right here, hey, watch it, is Friday's brand new jalapeno poppers appetizer. We'll give it to you free when you try one of these. Is it just me, or are these portions huge? is Walker. The hottest sale of low-priced used cars in the Honolulu market is going on right now. And all you need to buy, whether you're military or civilian, is $95 cash down. Look at late model cars and trucks. You can buy today from just $9.99 to $49.99 or $116 a month to $192 a month, all $95 down. Popular makes and models. This 10-day sale is now at one of the largest used car dealers in the state. Come out to Tony Honda Pearl Ridge Used Car Center. We're just across from Pearl Ridge. It's where everybody comes for a used car. So, Maggie and Jerry, you just came back from an around-the-world buying trip? Yes, we got such great deals, Jerry went wild and bought too much. Now what are we going to do? Let's sell it at any cost. What, you guys crazy? One carat Tiffany, one carat tennis bracelet, black pearl, loose stones, Hawaiian jewelry, diamond studs, donut diamond pendant, and panther-style bracelet. And you thought I was crazy! Hi, I'm Linda Coble. Since I've been driving my Infinity, people can't wait to tell me how much they love driving theirs. The sales staff, when you enter, they give you a warm welcome. You know, you feel at home with them. Took a test drive. That was it. I was hooked from that day on. Whatever your budget is, there's, there's something here for you. It's the best car I've ever had. I really like it. See what I mean? Why don't you come and experience the Infinity difference yourself? Ball new 
you're from Carnaby Street. Ah, lovely. Yeah. I love it, those it, fashions. It's mod, isn't it? Modish fashions, yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Justin Miller is on the program, and Anita Baker. Well, sure, you need a baker, for heaven's sakes. You need one. <laughs> Uh, let's do another one of them new for spring things, okay? Uh, all, all, sp <laughs> all spring and right through summer, we'll be checking in on the hilarious adventures of a beloved new late show character. He's called Buddy, the sleepy lifeguard. Here, watch a clip. Roll it, Hal. Clowns. Gold. Everyone knows water and wax don't mix. Everyone's wrong. Introducing Wax Packs, the revolutionary car wax that disperses in soap and water to wax your car while you wash it. I'm waxing. New Wax Packs, waxes while you wash. Red means go to your Honda dealer for red hot days. Got it. Take a devil ride. Get 9.9 zero down financing trade in that old helmet pick up a free t-shirt with five dollar purchase and see what's hot for 95 so get going because after april 30th red means stop see all the new hondas at my new location with plenty of parking in waipahu behind mcdonald's next to city mill thank you very much friday the most startling picket fences of the season his hands gushed blood a show about faith can you bless me what a family struggle with their beliefs you believe in the concept of god but you don't believe in him an extraordinary story what if jesus was showing me a sign you're not a saint on an all new picket fences friday to celebrate our grand opening, we're announcing a very special contract sale on the most popular automobiles in the country today. Held at the brand new Auto Center in Kaneohe. Why pay retail when you can buy it a fraction of that? Nearly 70 Chrysler Plymouth minivans fully equipped. You can buy one for only $1.99 a month. Take your choice of winners. Chrysler Cirrus or Jeep Cherokee. Buy one for $2.49 a month. Buy a Grand Cherokee for only $3.49 a month. Buy a new Neon with this equipment for just $1.99 a month at the all-new Windward Chrysler Plymouth Jeep Eagle in Kaneohe. This is a tale of one Todd Mitchell. Todd was one large citizen with an appetite to match. He heard the new white burrito Suprema Taco Bell weighed more than a Big Mac, yet had only eight grams of fat instead of the Big Mac's 26. But how would it taste? It tasted good, real good, and had real wholesome ingredients. Where'd the fat go? Is it buried in a bacon burger in Boise, or a French fry in Philly, or an onion ring in Hawaii? Melanie Griffith is Dora Dufran. Her body was any man's for a price. If you just lose your figure, half the men in the West would give up and get married. <laughs> she lived her life by her own rules. You don't deserve feeling sorry for it, and I'm not going to feel sorry for you. And it cost her the only man she ever really loved and her only child. Buffalo Girls, Sunday. Hi, folks, I'm Tom. On The Late Late Show, what is next in the O.J. Simpson trial with legal analyst Jack Ford coming up on The Next Late Late Show here on CBS. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you're in for a real treat now. We have a uh, young fellow from uh, Pennsylvania. Look, we even have a uh, stove out here. This is an electric stove, and he. Uh... Ah! Oh, you okay? <laughs> Our next guest is one of the few chefs in the world who can't touch a stove without adult supervision. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome five-year-old chef Justin Miller. Justin. <laughs> Ah. 
Okay. Okay. There you go. There, have a cookie. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Justin, welcome to the program. How are you, son? You okay? Mm -hmm. I know you, you got, a, got a mouthful of cookie there. Uh, what part of Pennsylvania are you from? Um, Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Yeah. And how long have you been cooking? I'm since I was one. One? Yeah. How, how the hell did a one... Do you mind if I come down here with you? Oh, hello. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Now, that's more like it. How, how did you start cooking when you were one years old? Um, I was just watch my nanny and my mom and my dad, and I started watching Graham Carr. <laughs> in the kitchen. Bing! Look at, look at how these boys sail. Look at that. Have oh. <laughs> hey, you ever had some dirt? Boing! There you go. Hey, you want a great one? There you go. There you go. Just get out of here. So, your, uh, your, your mommy, your daddy, your grandmother, and Graham Kerr. Why? Yeah, they, they taught you how to cook. What? Do you remember the first thing? Uh, ah, by the way, how come you're not in school? Shouldn't a kid like you be in school? Huh? Uh, huh? I'm, a, I'm still in preschool. You know, you're in preschool. <laughs> yeah. So you, you kind of got the day. You got you, you got the day off to come out here and be on the show, huh? Why? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, have you ever seen this show? Um, huh? I saw this show lots of times. You saw this this show a lot of times? Yeah. Well, you shouldn't be up that late. Why are you up that late? <laughs> You, you're gonna, you, you're, you, you're gonna get tossed out of preschool. <laughs> then what will become of you? By the, are you married? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. You got you in a hotel? Yeah. Everything all right there? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's huh? big. Yeah, oh, sure. <laughs> uh, when you go back to the hotel, Jason, do, here's a little tip for you. Run up a huge room service bill. <laughs> do you like room service? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Have we cooked anything yet? No. All right, well, let's just do this again and forget it. Listen, uh, we're, we've run out of... Here you go. Here you go, son. Your dad fixed breakfast for you. There you go. Uh, uh, we, don't, we don't have time to cook, but we want you as a gift here. Take this blender. You can have that blender with you, okay? Bye. Nice meeting you, Justin. Thank you for being here. We'll be right back with Anita Baker. Sure. You've got a car, got a dog, even got some fun-loving friends. But have you got what it takes to be a mountain man? All it really takes are the two cool beers of the mountain man. Smooth bush beer and easy drinking bush light. So, be a mountain man. All you gotta do is head for the mountains. What does she say? That sounded serious. The pilot says there is a crack in the engine, but uh, not to worry, you take off anyway. To get back the man of her dreams. I will triumph! She's going along with her worst nightmare. How can I help you win back this ridiculous man if you act like a clown? Meg Ryan, <laughs> Kevin Klein, French Kiss. Maintenant, je comprends tout. What did he just say? I don't know. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, May 5th at theaters everywhere. Gillette Sensor for Women, the only razor with this unique handle and spring-mounted blades to hold on to every curve. So safe, so smooth. Sensor for Women, the razor worth holding on to. Fries and a drink, please. Order from some value menus and you also get a surprise, not Wendy's. Our Biggie fries are big. You can't get bigger for 99 cents. And to finish a Biggie drink, you'll probably have to take it with you. Wendy's Super Value Menu. Better food makes it a better value. Look what's popping up for spring. 
Sears Days. Right now, during Sears Days, all paint is on sale. 20 to 50% off. Every brand, every color. This low luster satin exterior is just $10.99 a gallon. Semi-glass interior, just $9.99 a gallon. It's spring, so come to Sears for some of our lowest prices of the season. Come celebrate your home so many ways at Sears Days. While every Plymouth Neon is born to be friendly, we found a way to make them even friendlier. Get up to $600 cash back, plus up to $600 in package values, up to $1,200 off, or get interest rates as low as 4.9%. All that and dual airbags make Plymouth Neon about as friendly as it gets. Say hello to Plymouth Neon. At the preferred option sale, now at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. The home of Saigon. What really went on inside the U.S. Embassy? Correspondent Bob Simon was there. Now he returns to Vietnam. A special series tomorrow on the CBS Evening News. Who is the world's largest retailer with projected sales of $100 billion in 1995? If you said Walmart, go to the head of the class. Better yet, watch 60 Minutes Sunday. The biggest automobile sale we've ever hosted. The massive 12th anniversary sale at Windward Dodge. Look for the sale tags right on the vehicles. Buy at a fraction of any retail price. Shop over 80 new Dodge Caravans, all with the disposal offer right in the window. Shop vans at factory to dealer price. Send below. Buy one for only $1.99 a month. New Dodge Dakota pickups. Buy one for $89.99 or $1.99 a month with just $50 down. Buy a big Ram pickup at $4,000 below actual factory price. Over 30 new Neons. Buy one for $1.99 a month. $50 down. The huge 12th anniversary now at Windward Dodge. What Justin made, these are cheesecakes, and when Anita Baker is finished, we'll pass them out to her. You made these, didn't you? They're oh, delicious. Yeah. We'll pass them out to her in the band. It'll be I great fun. It. All right. Yeah. Our next guest has an amazing voice, and it has earned her... <laughs> hey, you know what we got? We got a giant flying rat. Look at there. Look at this. Right? Look, 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 look. Look at that. Get it out of here. Get him out of here. Oh, you should have seen the kids. Get, him, get out of here, Wes. Should have seen the kids' eyes get light up when he saw that. Out of here, Wes. Our next guest has an amazing voice that has earned her seven uh, Grammy Awards on Saturday. Uh, she, oh, this is a great Wes. gig. She opens a Radio City musical right here in New York City. Tonight, she'll be singing the title song Wes. from her CD, <laughs> Rhythm of Love. Uh, here's Anita Baker. Here, sit down there, just a minute.
have you here. That was wonderful. Thank you. Anita Baker, ladies and gentlemen. Are, what are we doing? Good. Have a, have a seat over there. We made a little mess. Just a little. I know, I'm sorry. It's my fault. Don't worry about it. Come on. Go ahead. We, we dropped the cheesecakes. We we're going to pass them out. I'm sorry. I made a terrible mistake. I said, no, relax. Everybody will get one in, in a couple of years. All right. Uh, we have to do a commercial. We'll be right back, folks. Thank you very much. With the arrival of the fittest. Introducing the all-new Tacoma. Bold, aggressive style. More powerful engine. Increased towing capacities and added safety features. Get great deals now on the Tacoma T100 4Runner and all remaining Toyota trucks. Toyota, Toyota Hawaii Truck Month. Featuring the all-new Tacoma. What is it your mother always said? Wear clean underwear in case you're in an accident. As if that's ever really happened. As if a doctor would ever notice your underwear. Don't risk it, whisk it. Because you know whisk gets out the toughest stains like this. Then whisk puts those same stain-fighting ingredients to work on everything you wash. To get out all kinds of stains on all kinds of clothes. Remember, you're going to be wearing what you wash. Don't risk it, whisk it. You're watching the Coors Light channel. It's a Coors Light pop quiz. What has a silver top and is full of beer? No, not Grandma. It's an ice cold can of Coors Light. Smooth tasting, won't hurt dentures. There's more after these messages. Coors Light. Crunchy on the outside, smooth on the inside. To drink Coors Light, you must be 21. Unless, of course, you're a dog, then you only have to be three. The Coors Light channel. There's an easier way to get free chicken. <coughs> Just order a chicken plate lunch from Zippy's made exclusively with Tyson chicken and get a coupon good for one free box of Tyson breaded chicken at your favorite supermarket. But you'd better hurry because this offer ends May 7th. Now at Zippy's, get a coupon for free Tyson chicken, the number one bird in paradise. Anita Baker, Justin Miller. I want to tell you something. That was just, you know, that was wonderful. My God, that's so impressive. You have a terrific voice, and it sounded great. You're going to be at Radio City Musical. You worked there before? Absolutely. We've been there about four years ago, did five shows. We've got five shows this week. Y'all, come on by. I'll be there. You know, but see, I don't, I don't know if people understand this about Radio City Musical. When it's full, as it will be for all of your shows, it, it holds like 6,000 people. Isn't that what it is? Absolutely. And Justin, you can come, too. You have a role. Are you, are you in the middle of a big tour? Are you traveling? <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> We're in the middle of Justin's. Yes, I guess we are. <laughs> Do you like being on the road? Uh, it's cool, you know, but I got two kids now. It's a yeah. little different. How I old are the kids? The circus, two years old and uh, 11 months old. So they, yeah, so that logistically, that's uh, can be trouble. Can't oh, it's it? crazy, man. It's a circus. I got two nannies. I got an assistant who's pregnant. I got an engineer. I got a husband. Man, we get yeah. on the plane, and they want us to yeah. get off. Yeah. Get off. I, I have nannies and I have no kids. <laughs> How do you figure that? Yeah. I have no idea what that means. Uh, the CD is called Rhythm of Love. Just, just wonderful. Great to see you and good luck uh, down the street at Radio City. Appreciate Justin, thank you very much. It was nice meeting you. We enjoyed having you with us. Have a safe trip back to Pennsylvania, okay? Okay. Big room service bill, buddy. There you go. <laughs> My thanks also to Michael J. Fox and the uh, clowns from Ringling Brothers, Barnum & Bailey Circus. We'll see you tomorrow night. Thanks for watching. Good night, everybody. Boy, did that suck. May is amazing on CBS.